What's up, guys? Back with another one. I'm Ryan. It's George. What's poppin', guys? How you living? Man, Lost in Vegas coming back at you. Another unbiased. Real reaction. Shout yeah. out to our free thinkers. Yeah, man. Yeah. Woo. So, so, man, we've been sick. Yeah. I'm gonna keep it real with you guys. We've been a little sick. Ryan was actually sick in the last string of videos that we released. I'm <laughs> sure you guys. Like I was, like yeah. I was in a coma and shit. Like, nah, a couple of you were like, what the hell is wrong with Ryan? <laughs> Ryan was sick. And then you witnessed me get sick. Because yeah. Ryan passed the, uh, the code on to me. So I've been sick. Ryan's been sick. And then Ryan actually had his birthday yeah, yesterday. Man. So please wish Ryan a happy birthday yes, in the, uh, in the yes, comments, sir, guys. We had a good time, Great man. time last night. And, so. Uh, so if you hear my voice crack, it's not like I'm going through puberty again. <laughs> That's because we were getting it in last night. So Yeah, for sure, for sure. So we're back in action. So yeah. we're going to get into uh, our Twitter poll here. So we put a Twitter poll up for Opeth. Versus Sepultura, then Devin Townsend, and Danzig was in there as well. Danzig, and yep. mm -hmm. it looks like Sepultura won out. You know, yeah, won man. 34%. It was a close battle between them and Opeth as yeah, well. So, so that was a fight to the finish. Yeah, man. And, um, and then we put a separate poll up here for a few different songs from uh, Sepultura. And it was uh, when Bloody Roots, of course, uh, won out that poll. So it looks like it was Bloody Roots, Territory, Refuse, Resist, and uh, Dead, Dead Embryonic Bloody Cell. Roots. So Yeah, that won by a landslide. Yeah, so. Bloody Roots. <laughs> so um, I think so, the only thing I know about this band is from what we you guys have said to us in the comments. I guess you had said this band is from Brazil. That's about it. I don't yeah, really man. know too much about them. So we so keep it raw here. We keep it real. So let's see what's going on. Sepultura, Roots, Bloody, Bloody Roots. Roots. Bloody Roots. That groove, that, groove is, that nice. groove is smooth. That yeah, groove is if like. If I could just. Yeah, that's, yeah. That, that, that's nice. Right if I could now. just nod my head smooth like that, you know. That's a good sign. You already know it's that's right, up our, right yeah. up our alley here. So. <laughs> Get ready for this one. Mm -hmm. All, right. All right, my mind is ready now. I, I am ready. Let's get let's get back to it here. I got like the drum. Yeah, Chicago drum. Chicago drum yeah. yeah. We don't need to be back. It's all we wanna be. Watch me crash. Mm. That riff, that riff right there is tough. Yeah, the grooviness. Yeah. The grooviness is ill. I love, yeah. I love the grooviness. It's kind of got like a. To me, it's, it's kind of hip hop ish. A little bit. Mm -hmm. If I can beatbox your shit, then it's probably got a little bit of hip hop in there somewhere. Yeah. That groove um, is, is nasty. Yeah, that groove is smooth. Yeah, man. I think that's a universal sound that you can all or everyone that can agree that that sounds good. Yeah, right? that, you're gonna that's gonna get you moving. Yeah, right? that's gonna get you moving. Yep, yeah, we we caught a groove there. Um, so where is the version without the guy screaming bloody roots? <laughs> you know what I find interesting, Ryan, is that I've I've seen a few of our subscribers say in the comments that um they can't imagine any other type of vocal performance on certain types of songs other than the screaming and the growling. I don't know. I think that that's debatable. Yeah. I, I don't know, man. Well, you know, man, um, I think that's a good point. And uh, I just think it really, it, it depends on what we're talking about, first of all. But I think we're just conditioned to hearing this sound on a metal track. You know, I agree. So, so I think that, yeah. that a lot of people are just conditioned hearing that. So they're like, I just can't imagine it, you know, being on something else. Right. You can't yeah. imagine any other type of vocals right. but this, this, right. this hardcore screaming, growling. And I do think that to a certain extent, um, that makes sense. Like it works, that, it, it works it a works. lot yeah, with works. metal music. But I don't yep. know if that's the only the only angle that could be taken vocally yep. in order to bring this type of hard song to life. Um, I say that because you know I, I will say this. I'm, I'm a little bit more open to the screaming than than what I've been in the past. Well, we progressed though. We have progressed. You know, so. you know, I mean, thanks to Gojira. Gojira's yeah, a big, a big yeah, part of that. Yeah. Thanks to them. They that, made was it. that was hot. Yeah, yeah. We, so we our, our that was hot. Yeah. So our palate sort of extended a little bit. <laughs> yeah. But I'm curious to test that theory. Like, can this hardcore heavy music uh, sound good with with maybe lighter, more melodic vocals on it? 
and um and I actually just send us send us some suggestions yeah. too of bands that may encompass that as well. So just a thought. Yeah. Anyways, yep. let's get back to it. So when he says roots, bloody roots. Obviously, this band. Um, one of the things that I've I've seen in comments is this is a Brazilian right. bass band, or they're from Brazil, and um, you can hear sort of the I don't know if it's the Congo drums in there. You can hear that um, in the music as well. So you, you kind of get that that, that Brazilian, Brazilian type of feel, folk, folk yep. music type yep. of vibe, mm -hmm. um, which sounds good, by the way. Yeah, yeah, it really sounds good. So it, I'm, I'm assuming he's talking about Brazilian roots, but I just don't know what he's trying to articulate about. Brazilian roots. Brazilian roots. When he says roots, bloody, I'm looking at the lyrics and he's like, believe in our fate, we don't need to fake, it's all we want to be. We're Watch growing, it. we're growing every day, getting stronger every way, I'll take you to a place where we shall find. So I'm not sure what he's trying to say about Brazilian roots. Is it, it just about cultural preservation? Right. You know, something that's in history and has, because uh, obviously they're mystery right you no know, we, we, we can we don't want to get into the slave, right. the slave yeah. trade and all that stuff but i don't know if that's can, if, if he's referencing when he says bloody right. roots right he's talking about the blood that was shed maybe in the past yeah you know i mean with in, in regards to the roots of brazil right you know i just don't know i don't know if he's articulating it in a way that I, you yeah. know, it's just very open-ended yeah it's it's, it's it's he's not like honing in on exactly what he's talking about hmm. okay you know i mean Cool. Let's get back to it. Yeah, man. Why can't you see? This is real. Mm. Yeah, that's nice. Right. That's all. Right. You know, and that that has a corn feel to it as well. That mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it does. Those You're right. Eerie that's guitar true. lines, yep. man. That's hot. Yeah, again, um, bring me the strength to get another day, and all I want to see is set us free. free. Okay, so set us free. Again, is he, Why he's, can't you see, right? Why can't you see? Hmm. I don't know if he's just saying that there's, he's talking about maybe the oppression of, you know, um, the culture of Brazil, some of the culture of Brazil. Right. But yeah, I guess he's speaking on oppression. I'm not sure. Set us free, obviously, is right. going to be uh, indicative of that. Bring me strength. So, not sure what he's trying to accomplish with the lyrics. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not, with, not sure what the message is. But, uh, interesting. Yeah, help us out. Help us out with yeah, that. Yeah, let us know. You guys know and shed some light on that. But, uh, the groove is hard. I like the groove. That, that, that's what's saving the, all of that for me. Yeah. The, the groove is like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? The groove is cool. The groove is real cool. Yep, right there. Mm -hmm. Yep.
hard. Yep. That 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 was like the finale. <laughs> that was that was that hard. was a great breakdown. Yeah, that, that was, was great hard. Breakdown. Love the uh, yeah. the groove from the jump is really. I think it grabbed. Yeah. Both. I think it's safe to say the groove grabbed Man. both of us from the jump. Um, yeah, that was hard. Lyrics, not sure really where he was going with the lyrics. Obviously, it has something to do with Brazilian culture. I just don't know exactly what. I don't know if it was just about preserving the culture. This, this was his way right. of bringing more attention to the culture of Brazil in some yeah, way, shape, form, or fashion. But the groove was hard. Like the breakdown on that one. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Overall, that's pretty good. That was okay yeah. to me. I liked it. I liked yeah. it. I think okay. um, uh, it started off okay to me because I liked the, uh, the groove. But that that finale at the end was great. Was hard. That 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 I would listen to that song over and over and over again just, just for, for that. that part. You know what I mean? Um, as far as the vocals, um, for me, I, I just I I don't know if he sounds good on this track. I think that kind of took away from the actual groove of the song. Like yeah. I said, the breakdown and that finale at the end. That's what captivated me in this whole song and that's what, what will make me revisit the song over and over and over again for that alone. Now. Listen, you know, I, I guess I'm the big bad wolf. I didn't like his vocals at all <laughs> on this. But I was trying to figure out why I really liked, and I hate to bring another band in into this sort of an analysis, but I was trying to figure out what it was about Gojira's screaming, growling vocals that I liked so much. And someone in the comments, a couple of people in the comments rather, was saying that you know, there's a such thing as growling and screaming in key. And I think that yeah. that's probably what it is. That's probably why we're more drawn to Gojira, uh, the screaming and growling in that respect versus just, you know what I mean, versus just, something like this. Right. Like, I, I just think that, I don't know if he was just in key. I didn't, I didn't hear much yeah, of anything. That's there. a good point. But all in all, guys, um, I think we're, we're pretty much on the same page yeah, with this one. Yeah. Groove is great, breakdown great. His vocals, um, no, not, not for so me. Much. Yeah, not so much. And the um, and then the lyrics, I'm just were I, I didn't really weren't, wasn't sure of what they meant. <laughs> so yeah. help us out in the uh, the comments regarding that. But other than that, pretty good for me. Ryan yeah, yeah. seems to like it. You know, okay. So that's it. In the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. This yes, is Las Vegas, George Ryan. We, we out. out.